heard, I heard the call out. I should really pay attention to the mini map more since it actually pings the map now. I keep forgetting it does that. There it is. That's not good. I mean, it's just a singular dreadnought, but we don't really have a lot of power here. Let's go fight it. Probably gonna lose a lot of those units. That's okay. Build an air scout for me. I have two of these building air scouts for me. And then you are done. You build another bomber. There you go. You! I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I want you to do. Actually, I do know what I want you to do. What do I have? I have that thing. I'm going to assume that's all I have and just tell him to build these. So the jammer. Put the jammer down. There you go. And we can sort out what we're doing there. Is that dreadnought dead or did it just leave? It's not dead because I just lost a bunch of units and things are being shot over here. That answers that question. Aircraft? Yep. Over there. Um, we've killed that. Let's kill these. So that's what's always shooting me over hills and stuff. I always, I keep forgetting they have this artillery system. Let's kill him. I'll just look at him. Wow, his stuff is already upgraded. I dislike this creepy. So you go right there, you're up, you're building all those. Um, I'm not gonna upgrade the ones on the back lines. Those are just gonna stay basic ones. I don't care much about those. He's gonna kill all these units because he's gonna just sit here and outrange them forever. Unfortunately, he can do that, and I hate it. That's okay, though, because we have more units. We really need Quanta. Or we're going to need Quanta. It is Quanta, right? Yeah. All of my dudes are going to be busy for a little bit. He's going to be building those. I'm not going to mess with him. You guys are actually almost done. So I'm just going to set them up to build a bunch of quantum archives. Apparently in a strange configuration, but that'll do for now. There you go. You guys will be doing that for a while. Uh, you guys will be doing that for a while, but eventually I want one of these, or two of those actually. Because I'm going to need Dreadnoughts at some point here. You guys enjoying yourselves? You don't appear to be enjoying yourselves. Well, you're caretakers, aren't you? No, you're just drones. What the fuck are you going to do? Nothing, if you're curious. I love that Haley just stole a bunch of nodes from the uh, AI over here. What's going on here? A searcher. Doesn't matter too much. I am just building units infinitely. Go over there. Um, my harvesters are just currently existing. I don't really care where they are. Go over there. Probably get shot at inevitably, but. I could tell him to go back here. That's a way safer spot. And all of these nodes have two resource points. Well, most of them have two resource points. That one has two, that one has two. Yeah, just some of the metal ones have three. Where'd that dreadnought go? It's over there. Haley has built a dreadnought. I have not because I never built the building because I forgot I didn't have one, but you know. That's okay. It doesn't matter too much. 
How many of these am I building? That's too many. That's enough of those. Stop building those. Go park your butt. Go park your butts over there. You know what? Build a couple extra constructors, because we're going to need them. And then tell them to stop building that. Come back here when you're done, because I need you. Why is there a freaking harvester just chilling over here? Who knows? Enemy There's two dreadnoughts down here now. I greatly dislike this. I mean, I could grab all the aircraft. Uh, I mean, Haley also has a dreadnought over here. And that one looks like it's gonna die, yeah. Probably, eventually. It's in range of that laser, so it will die eventually. Unless it kills the laser, I guess. Which it's not even shooting at, so... GG. I don't even need ground defenses on this one. Why well, you got saboteurs over there, you doofus? I don't even need ground defenses on this one because the AI is going to act as my my buffer, my ground defense, so. Pretty much just those basic turrets around will do perfectly fine. You guys. Build some advanced assemblies for me, and then when you're done with that, go over there. Just so I know where you are, basically. Help him. Enemy we dreadnought detected. don't really have the capacity in our income to build that many dreadnoughts, but we're going to need them, apparently, because Mac is building a lot of them. I don't know what his base looks like. I know he's a factory there, but far from that, I don't know. Well, that's why he's got so many resources. He's got refineries. Probably a lot of refineries, actually. I mean, it's not like I can say much. I've got this going off over here. Which would be real easy to kill for an intelligent uh, player, but you know. We'll just park those over there just so I don't need to worry about them. And we need radioactives anyway, so. It takes them a long time to build all that stuff. All right. You guys form apparently two armies and make your way over here because we need to help out on the front lines. I need more logistics. There's at least a dreadnought, anti dreadnought over here. Anti dreadnought dreadnought over here. I don't know how words work, so you'll have to bear with me, but you know. For now. We're going to have a lot of people building these quantum archives. Quantum archives. I'm pretty sure it's quantum, but you know. And we'll probably have a lot of people building those for a while. Let's build, um... I don't know. Two savagers? The thing with the anti-dreadnought dreadnoughts, which is the, the, the dreadnought destroyer dreadnoughts, a strange phrase, is uh, they don't tend to have a lot of army buffs, whereas the other two have a lot of army buffs, so... There are some trade-offs there, but still, I suppose. Like, I'm gonna need to kill his dreadnoughts, somehow, and he's got a quantum advantage on me, uh, everything advantage on me, to be honest. Or from the fact that he's an AI, thusly has that disadvantage. But I'm going to need to kill, presumably, a lot of Dreadnoughts, so I'd probably want some Savagers around. How much do those cost? Mostly metal? Almost entirely metal, and we've got a lot of metal, so... Actually, put you there, you there, you guys, help them. Just going to go crazy on the Quantum for a bit here. Like, real crazy on the quantum, because that's how you get huge advantages. Is you have a quantum investment advantage. Let's 
So you guys go park your boat over there because you're going to have a Dreadnought with you eventually. These guys are going to go fight that Dreadnought. Mac appears to really want to fight me over anyone else, so... He just fucked that avatar up. He's about to get destroyed, though. He's going to take some stuff with him. There's really no question about that. He kills Dreadnoughts. That's what that thing does. That's its job. Get your butts in there. Shoot that thing down. There's supposed to be drones in here somewhere. There they are. Although most of them are not engaging. Most of these units aren't engaging. Whatever, he'll die eventually. We'll have some losses, but it's not the end of the world, so... We'll have two dreadnoughts of our own at some point. Enemy dreadnought detected. Enemy dreadnought detected. Another one, you say. That guy's dead. Yeah. Took some stuff out with him. I don't know where the other dreadnought is. Presumably over here somewhere. Enemy dreadnought destroyed. Good job, team. Haley's got a dreadnought there. You've got a dreadnought there. So my all of my AI teammates aren't gimped at all. Well, this guy's just getting wrecked. So he's not actually gimped. He's just he can't fight. What is that? I wonder. That's a treadnought. Okay. I see. You're just gonna leave. I wanted to see what that was, and since I've got this guy hanging out, we can uh, do something with that. Dreadnought launch initiated. Dreadnought launch initiated. So can I put you in this army? No, there's one too many people in this army. So disband. Get you over here. Just go join that army. There you go, buddy. Then you and you can make an army. And then eventually this army will be full up. We'll be good to go. Hello. It's the range one. I really don't want to deal with him, so we're just going to attack move this way and act like he doesn't exist. I don't want that node. Could someone else have it? got a boost on it. None of my nodes have a boost on them. I should really do that, shouldn't I? Especially considering the quantum investment I'm doing here. Dreadnought. This guy's lucky there's nothing going that way. He's got two dreadnoughts out. He's completely uncontested. He should be able to make some good pushes through that side, which will pressure Mac a little bit. Do we want to build more of these? Not really. For now, we'll just have these two dreadnoughts. I could sit here and loop the dreadnought production, but... I think for now, we'll pass on that, although we are positive. There's really no reason not to. Let's build a couple of these. A couple of offensive dreadnoughts. There's a dead dreadnought somewhere. I don't really know where, but somewhere. You guys just keep spawning saboteurs. Stop it. You don't need those there. There's nothing for them to shoot. They can capture the node, but we got an army right there. What's the point? You buffoons. Can I put that? It's really hard to aim those from space. That's okay, though. You guys are all building. These guys should have radar, they appear to. There's that dreadnought, it just, yeah. Popped in and out of existence there briefly. I assume it wants to fight. It's gonna have to deal with this mass of units over here, which I don't think is gonna go well for it. It's the other army. You guys back up a little. And they already get shot at. Hello, friend. We appear to not have radar in this army, even though we should. I thought we would. Looks like that army doesn't either. What the heck is happening? I'm pretty sure I told them to build the scout planes. 
Unless the scout planes just have garbage range on the radar? I don't know. Rip that guy. Dreadnought oh man, another dreadnought detected? It's alright, we're making pushes. Another dreadnought coming that way. I got a couple dreadnoughts coming up. We're all good now. What the? And then 250. That shouldn't take long. Generally speaking, when you build your base, if, if you're playing against like a human opponent who's not, you know, a doofus, you probably shouldn't build your quantum relays, quantum, quantum whatever these are, installed. quantum archives like this. Nor should you put your harvesters like this. Because that's how you get all your stuff blown up. Our income is remarkably positive. Is the army still not full? It's got a lot of aircraft in that army. Got a lot of aircraft in that army. Can just wait for the other group to show up. Hello. The AI has really bad pathing or something. And you guys don't know what to do with your life once he walks out of your visual range, so. Okay, there we go. That army is full. Go park your butt down there. You get the next group. That's a lot of quantum. Not gonna lie. It's like an excessively large amount of quantum. How's the yellow guy doing? He's doing alright. He's making pushes. That guy should die. Yeah, because that's an anti-dreadnought, dreadnought, dreadnought. Hey! Green. They're whatever. What are they? That's not green. It's like a sea, sea green kind of thing. Managed to build a dreadnought of his own there. Look how many resources they spend on defenses? I spend almost none. Like, comparatively, I've got like two or three defenses on every node, but that's it. These guys go crazy with their defenses. Enemy dreadnought destroyed. And it destroyed Treadnought. Actually, no. Capture that. And capture that. I don't actually need these nodes. Um, I'm basically just here to deny them from Mac, but you know. What is that? Sky. That's a lot of factories you got right next to the edge of your base there, buddy. Advanced Sky Factory. Lots of armories. Like, all of his production is right there, which is an absolutely awful place to put that. Not very well defended at all. At this point, you guys, whenever you're done with that, are basically done. Um, build a couple more aviaries. Just, you know. There you go. Have fun, buddy. I hate when you do a bunch of upgrades and it makes that noise a bunch. You're still not full. That's actually quite a thing. Also, something about enemy dreadnought detected? Probably over there somewhere, who knows. I'm not in any threat of imminent doom. We've got so much time before they get anywhere, so... Up oh, there it is. Of course, I have four dreadnoughts of my own. I could have more dreadnoughts if I so desired. Four dreadnoughts with a full army. We're going to make a big push towards Max uh, Nexus here and basically ignore everything else. What is that? 24 metal per second. Jeez, I'm only getting eight. That's an absurd amount of metal from that one Nexus node there. Oh yeah, I was supposed to be boosting these things. There you go. Wish the cooldown on boost was a little faster. Not that I need the boost, to be honest, but... 
I don't need the boost to get through, so. What good is it? The enemy has captured a region. Some, some dreadnought destroyed, captured a region, some, some. What's that? Just a bunch of random units coming in without an army for some reason. What are you guys doing? Enemy dreadnought detected. We have detected another dreadnought somewhere in some aircraft. Presumably about to get shot down. You don't have much anti-air. I mean, you started with some, so. There is that, I suppose. I love that these nodes are still actually connected to the network because it goes through teammates. You guys are all sorts of dead. All of you, make your way over there. It's a lot of units. Also, a lot of aircraft, which is good. Including some that should have radar, but it appears because our radar isn't upgraded. Yeah, they just couldn't see beyond their visual range, so... It was a little, that was a lot of quanta to investigate that, but, you know. Put you on loop. Put you on loop. Just one of those each. Avatar is so small, it's hard to see it. The enemy has captured a region. Let's build some more basic assemblies. There you go. Ridiculous quantities of those. You know what? We could build some more advanced assemblies too. That way we can pump out like a lot of dreadnoughts in a short sp span of time, but have no money. The enemy has Too captured many. the region. I don't know which ones I've boosted, so we're just gonna kind of roll with it for now. I mean, like, I, I don't think it actually matters at this point. Look how fast the Avatar builds stuff, though. It's so good. I don't know what's going on with, like, the glitchy textures that are happening. Like, it's popping a level of detail in constantly on everything. I'm gonna zoom in. Look at that texture. Quality texture. I mean, you're not really meant to be playing it that zoomed in anyway, so... When you're done, can you just go over there so you're not in the way? You can build that, and you can build that as well, and you can build the same thing. Wish you could do the thing where you just tell them all to build the things, and then loop them all and that would work, but that doesn't work and it makes me sad that it doesn't work, but that's alright. Okay, so we're back to the part where we have ridiculous levels of production that are entirely unnecessary. Like, literally entirely unnecessary, because I'm pretty sure this group of four dreadnoughts is going to just walk in there and kill everything anyway. But... Help him out. He is your leader. The leader avatar. Like, look at the speed we're getting quantum to. Power capacity increased. So you have dreadnoughts on two sides. Dreadnought upgrades no, available. That was just them leveling up. Look at the speed that we're getting quantum. And we could build infinite numbers of those quantum archives. We could sit here for the rest of the match quantum building quantum archives. Installed. We already have level eight uh, unit upgrades. We don't have building upgrades, but like we've got martyrs. Look at these martyrs. 300 health on a martyr. I'm pretty sure they start with 200, but whatever. Armies with almost 100,000 effective health. Oh, well, that dude's dead. We apparently need more logistics. Do not worry, though. We're also about to blow, like, all of our resources in a second here. Whenever that thing's done. And whenever I can get more logistics. We need more logistics. How much do these we use? 100 lo detected. logistics each? Not bad. 
So there's four or five, six dreadnoughts coming in through this front gate. Four of which have completely capped armies. Does that make all four of those build one? No. I have to actually queue four, that's right. Which is going to absolutely decimate my economy. But that's okay. You guys. Go down that way. Again, I don't think it matters. Because we've got this coming up over here. Including all of the air support associated with it. Although those guys are going to drop like rocks, probably. Whoa. Look at this guy's got some crazy production. Look what's going on back here. I mean, he won't for long, because, you know. Dreadnoughts. Very, very heavily upgraded dreadnoughts, I will add. Quantum upgrade installed. Enemy dreadnought destroyed. That's one dreadnought down. This dude is attempting to flee for his life. And not doing a particularly good life choice of moving that way. I would give him that much. So yeah, his nexus is dead. We can just bum rush it now. I was expecting that to be a little bit harder. This nexus, nexus is dead, I believe. I yep. No pleasure from doing this to you, Mac, but you'll understand eventually why it was necessary. Okay. The circle is now complete. So there you go. I lost the most military. I did not destroy the most military. Obviously, Mac did that. Global ability spending, almost none. Like, let's look at Quanta. I have. Look at his Quanta income. Jeez. He had way more than me. Did he spend it? Mm, he was trying, but he didn't upgrade his units like I did, so. But he had some ridiculous Quanta income there. I wish I knew. Oh, I know why. I know why their radioactives are spiking. They're doing the uh, temporary boost thing on their radioactives, presumably to build dreadnoughts. I never do that because I'm lazy and forget that it's a thing. But yeah. Hmm. Nobody had any terrenium, but there you go. I think that was the last mission. She's talking about like something's gonna get explained, so yeah. Well, I didn't exactly let her have it, but she must have had a very good reason to take it. Yes, to increase her empire. She doesn't think like that, Vexen. As you're fond of saying, she's not human. Speaking of humans, Darius is up to something. Okay. Oh man, spaceships. Isn't Darius the Mars guy? I don't know. There's a spaceship, though. Look how big it is. It has no impact on anything gameplay related because space. Like, you have orbital abilities, but you know. It's a thing. Whoa, that looks sweet, though. Hooray! I guess. I guess that's the end. There you go. I suppose. There you go. Will there be another after this that explains what the hell's going on? Who knows? Probably. But yeah, that's the end of the escalation campaign. It ended kind of... I don't know. It ended. <laughs> I guess. That was a thing. Well, then, you know, whatever. I could definitely do that on the harder difficulty. Maybe not the super hard difficulty, but definitely I feel like I could do that on harder. But anyway, that's it, I guess. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support from those of you who gave me support. Excuse me. Burp there. Didn't mean to. I did just eat lunch before recording. But thanks for the support, all that jazz, etc., etc. I don't have the faintest idea what I'll record in this slot next, but we shall see. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.